Hey everybody, welcome back to that series of Piper's Guide. I'm Martin. And I'm Derek. What's on your mind today, pal? Man, I'm, I'm, I'm going through this pipe and I've just got a ton of ash in there. So I just dump it out or do you keep it in there? What's, what's, what's the deal? Well, that's one heck of a question and it's all about the ash. Because uh, I've heard conflicting reports, so I need it from the master. There are people that will absolutely dump and light and keep going but the ash actually plays a quintessential part of the pipe smoking process in fact as the ash layer builds what can happen is is that you are losing some insulation to keep that ember going so part of the tamping process is to make sure that we've take that taken that ash and compressed it down into a thicker layer that is blocking out a lot of the wind and cooler air that can make your ember go out. And so the ash is extremely important. Just like the cake buildup on the walls of your pipe protects the pipe, the ash layer in a compressed fashion, not overly compressed because you can snuff it out, so you're not wanting to snuff it out, but the ash will act as an insulator through the rest from the rest of the environment. And that'll keep your pipe going a lot longer and give you the ability to smoke freely for quite a long time. But again, this is why I always say that tamping is an integral part of keeping your pipe lit and enjoying the blend that you have in there. So great question. Thanks man. Could there be too much ash ever you think, or if you tamp correctly, you can pretty much contain it. Yeah. So if you again have too much ash on top of that, it becomes very airy and again, doesn't act like that insulation. So if you think of any kind of insulation, even in walls or anything like that, it's compressed and it's very tight inside of your walls. If it was very open, well, it's not going to completely insulate and it's not going to prevent heat and the transfer of heat and, and coolness, you know, between the wall. So you want to make sure that the ash is tight, not compressing it to the point where it puts out your ember, but is tight enough that it is insulating the ember and keeping it hot. Cool, man. Thanks for the info. I appreciate it. Yeah, no, it was a great question. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Let us know. Are you somebody that dumps the ash immediately, or do you keep just tamping away like many of us uh, out there in the community? Also, please like, share, and subscribe. Remember that we also go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern. I'm Martin. And I'm Derek. We'll see you later.